good motive old cast, isn't it? I was just about to talk. Sorry. And he interrupts me. Hello Pete. Hello, Greg. <laughs> good afternoon e what is it, Pete? Is it cast as evening? Is it afternoon? Yes, mate. What's evening? What does evening after, constitute? I would say after um, six o'clock, eighteen hundred. And what's the time now? We're just short of that. So we're like ten minutes short of evening. Yeah. Okay, so good afternoon. Um, we are here at Westgate on Sea, um, which is near Margate, Thanet area. Um, it's low tide. We've got a fork and a bucket. We're gonna dig for some worms go and get something to eat and then we might come back and just fish the uh, flooding tide here with some fresh worms it's very shallow and see if we can catch some bass we're not here to catch anything too sizable we're not that worried we just want to get a bendy rod um, the moment you start setting yourself goals of uh, catching a five pounder you're destined to fail so uh, we're just coming out to have an enjoyable session on the beach. So let's uh, let's get digging for some worms. There's, uh, there are some casts showing, nothing major yet, but we'll find some. We'll find some good worm. Anyway, let's have a look. If you're digging worms, try and fill in your trench afterwards because it's only going to cause a soft patch. Someone could uh, even drown in that. So leave it as you found it. Anyway, on to the next one. Well, we've got some worms in the bucket. Um, not monstrous, but enough for me and Pete. I think we've got two score. Yeah, we've probably got two score. There's our patches behind us, all filled in. So as not to break anyone's ankles, not to cause any soft patches, um, they'd be all right. Now what we're gonna do, just walk along and get a few live prawns. Then we're gonna go and get some chips before we come back. It's not a big tide. We're not gonna be fishing in deep water. Probably gonna be fishing in about a foot and a half in darkness. See if we can get a bass or two or three. Or four. What was that, Pete? One. One. <laughs> Any of you do. Yeah. Let's see. Get a bite. Chips. Curry spring roll has been devoured. It was very nice. Do you know what that place was called, Pete? Is that what it was fish called? Chip shop. Oh, it was a fish and chip shop. <laughs> He's full of it, ain't he? <laughs> what they, was it called? Did it have a name? Mm -hmm. Don't know, it was on the corner. Westgate fishery. No, it's on Westgate though, is it? That's towards Margate. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice fish and chips. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, come back and the wind has picked up. Jackets are on. August, end of August, jackets are on. This could be uh, um, the start of things to come, I think. Um, it is a northerly wind that's probably about 15 miles an hour coming straight in our face but the tide as you can see is covering up the rocks down there we're gonna get down to the bottom of the ramp start setting up and then we can hopefully start fishing pretty soon so let's get down there with our stuff and get us out right here we are on the slipway on the ramp going down to the beach Pete's setting up there, my tripod's there. We've got, what have we got? The ramp ends, well the ramp doesn't end, but there's sand and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Um, 13. 15 meters. And we're into this gully. Pete's up there. So when the sea reaches the bottom of that ramp, we are in about two foot of water here. So this is where we want to be fishing, just on this gully. There's a boy here. Now that boy here, get the light on. Now that boy there is actually attached down here somewhere. There it is. That boy is there. So that boy is what is it from that we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we want to be between eight and ten meters short of that boy and then we are right on this edge of this gully this is where all the food is going to collect as the sea's rushing in this is hopefully where the bass are going to patrol along this now the sea isn't far it's just coming up over this here you've probably got half a foot till it's up to where we are up to this this gully so we're going to slowly start setting up now one rod each and i'll show you what we're doing right I am setting up one rod and one rod only at the moment. I have got a second rod, but it's my float rod. So we're gonna see how this goes at the moment. Tide's not in yet, but it's coming. The wind is a little annoying. Now what I'm going to do, and I think Pete's probably going to do the same. I'm going to clip this up and we're going to put a long range rig on here. Keep the rod tips high. Get the bait in that gully so it's flapping around nicely. Inviting any bass to snatch it. So here we have it, long range rig going on the rod. And basically all it is, is a, like a pattern I'll start one hook. Let's untangle it, there it is. One long sort of 15 inch hook snood, single hook, size 2 or 3 -0. This is the 3 -0. Gonna load that up with like three worms. And that will flap around nicely in that gully hopefully if a bass goes past it'll snuffle that up um for long range casting as it is a long range rig got an srt spring there it clips down clips onto the bait clip there and it's nice and streamlined but don't need that won't be doing that it'll be an underarm flick and it'll be there ready to catch any passing bass just gotta wait for the tide to get in now we are still waiting we are still waiting for the tide to arrive, or the sea to arrive. Um, what do you want to say, Pete? We are waiting. <laughs> we are waiting. Um, Gully to fill up. Water we are waiting for it to fill up. It's not far away. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's no point fishing yet. Still a tiny bit of light in the sky, as you can see. The water is just coming in over there. Let's see if my head torch will uh, illuminate that. There we go. The sea is just coming in down there. There it is. There it is in front. Not long. Right, I cannot be bothered to wait anymore, so I might just. Uh, Go along the beach a little bit. But what I'm going to do, one of them on. 
get a second one on like so two worms I'm going to go straight onto that hook Just go with worm, that's it. That's what I'm gonna put out. I'm gonna go and put that out over in the middle a little bit and come back to the tripod. There's that boy out there, right? I'm gonna go out into this shallow surfy conditions. Right, I don't know if that's deep enough. We will soon find out. There's Pete's all loaded up, he's gonna get his out now. We're gonna go round to the right into the bay a bit. I've just gone round to the right into the bay a bit. Where it's cleaner ground. Just see if we can get something until this water reaches the bottom here. Pete's just had a bite. There's something coming in on this flooding tide. Put an eye on mine, mate. I'm going to put a bit of squid on the end of this one, Pete. See if I can, uh, see if I can hold this worm on. Squid on that. Alright, that should hold it on. I've got a squid head on there now. It's what I like. This is the combination I like. Squid head and worm. Let's go and get that out now. Sunk by now, it's about a foot deep. What? Buy it? Yeah. Oh, Pete's got one. Peter's got one. Right, let me get this down because I don't want to get this in yet. Oh, well done, Pete. Let me get this on my rod vest. Pete has got a fish. You got a fish, yeah? Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Good bite? Yeah, smashed it. Smashed it. Let's hope it's a bass and not a doggy. <laughs> oh, even better. Even better. Did smash it, mate. You've got an eel. You've got an eel. Luckily, you've lip hooked that eel. That's freshly done. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to let you deal with that, mate. Oh, thank you. I'm not that kind. <laughs> you were excited, weren't you? You thought you had a bass on. He's got an eel. Well done though, mate. Got a fish. This is going in here. It's got to be before that boy. There it 
There it is. That's in the gully. Come on. That's in the gully. Right. Shall I give Pete a hand? Why that nice? Oh, you've unhooked it. Let's have a look, mate. Will you put it back? Oh, nice bit of slime on your hands, mate. But it saved you a blank, mate, isn't it? No. There he goes. Comes back in. Uh, I think you're going the wrong way, mate. No. There he goes. Oh, God. Well done, mate. So we're both in the gully now, which is not far in front of us. Me with the squid tipping off. I'm not getting many bites. Pete with straight worm, he's getting bites. So I am gonna bring one in and get rid of the squid, put some fresh worm on and get it back out. Because I think straight worm is doing the trick and finding the bites. Not that we've had any more fish other than the eel but there are fish out there. A fish? You thought I had you? I didn't have you. Yeah? No. no. It wasn't me, mate. I was nowhere near you. <laughs> hey, there are fish out there. Oh, come on. Just bite then. Oh, missed that as well. Pete, well, scoop, beep, 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 Pete's whole rod has just gone over. He's having a bit of a mare, but he's got the fish. He thinks, yeah, good one. Don't lose him. Come on. Where's he, mate? He's tiny. He's all right, he's all right, mate. He is all right, you've got yourself a bass, mate. There we go. Well done, Pete. Well done, mate. I knew they'd be here. You're having a right old mare with your tripod, aren't you? He slammed that over, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Better keep an eye on mine. Well done, mate, not sizeable. Hold on a minute. We'll show it off outside of your fat hands. I mean, what's, what are you doing, strangling it? No, no. Can't you hold it delicately? <laughs> there we go, look at that. Lovely little bass, well done, mate. Well done. Oh, he was going down the side there, wasn't he? Swim the wrong way. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, here he goes. Come on. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're gonna have to get wet, mate. You got it? <laughs> There he goes, that's better. Bit of water through the gills, and off he's gone. Well done, Pete. Stealing all the fish. Sorry? Stealing all the fish. Pete's rod just went again. 
What is he putting on his hooks? Yeah, come on. I cannot believe that we are, well, Pete's only landed two fish. And between us, only two fish have been landed. We are getting bites. And if this was a test on hookup rates, we would fail because we're struggling to hook into these fish. Some of them are really flying the rod over. I cannot begin to tell you how many bites we're missing. Pete's putting back out again. It is just bang, bang, bang. I think it's small school bass, but it's so frustrating I haven't even caught one yet. Oh, I suppose it's better than sitting here for three hours without a bite. Come on, go on. Go on, take it. Oh, and I missed it. How did I miss that? Oh my God, how did I miss that? These are on the wind up. They're on the wind up. Well, is our session done? That was frust well, so frustrating for me. I didn't get a fish at all. Pete, what'd you get, mate? A little bass? Yeah, small bass. And an eel. Plenty of bites. Could have had a lot more, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have done. Could have had a lot more. Yeah, it's a good little session, really. Frustrating. So. Yeah, frustrating. Anyway, it's nearly midnight, so we are going home to bed because we have work tomorrow. Um, but until next time. As you already know, tight lines.